Hi, I'm fine. Hi, Diego. Excellent, thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to take the attendance list. Just give me a second, okay? Good evening, teacher. Yeah. Hello, hello, Adonai. The rain is starting in my uh, neighborhood. Oh, really? Really. Okay. Yeah. So if if you have any problem with the connection, don't worry. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Thank you to let me know it. Okay, just please say your name. Say say present or something, or hi or or good evening. When I when you hear your name, okay. Uh, Nate. Oh, give me a second. Give me a second. I am going to take the attendance list. So let me see. Luis, Luis Velasco. No, William Josué. Teacher Josué, write in the chat in the group. Oh, I would check. I would check. Thank you. Oh, and I saw that Luis raised. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Emerson. Okay. Uh, Ariel? Mm, I'm here. Thank you. Diego? I think you are. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Jefferson? I'm here. Thank you. Saul? Everyone's not here, right? Emerson. Present. Thank you. Brian. Adonai. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think you are you are the the ones here. So I'm going to share my screen please let me know if you can see it okay can you yes yes okay thank you thank you so we are going to start our class. So I have uh, two questions for you, or I need your point of view of this one. And the first one is, it's possible to learn to love somebody or to learn loving somebody. What do you think? Let me see, uh, Luis, what do you think? Uh, I think, um, yes, it's, it's possible. Uh, yes, because um, with family is not a, No nos pueden caer todos bien siempre. Bye. <laughs> okay, thank you. And what about you? What do you think, Ariel? The same question. It's possible to learn love and something? Or at um, some point? Yeah, I think if you want uh, to be with someone, um, you can uh, learn, learn um, to to love somebody. Okay, excellent. And 
What about you, Jeff? What do you think? I think you can't learn. Can't? No, you can't. Yes, you can't. Why? It's not possible because love is a feeling, not a, not something else. I don't know how to explain. Like, but... like, an, like an ability that you learn. Yes, uh, something like that. But... Okay, interesting point of view. Uh, what about you, Alanay? What do you think? Adonai, are you there? Maybe he's having problems with the connection. So Emerson, what do you think? Yes, sure. Uh, I think that is possible. Uh, why the person are honest, are sincere, sincera? Sincere or honest, it's, it's the same. Sincere. May, may, maybe you want to say loyal. Loyal. Uh -huh. Loyal and honest. Honest. Okay. And I think that the most important is the is that the person are fiel. Loyal. That's that's the way. Loyal. Okay. Only this. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Adonai, yes. Sorry, teacher. I I was bring my bed because uh, my uh, clutches. Uh -huh. uh, my clutches is uh, wet. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so what do you think? It's possible to learn to love son, uh, loving son, someone? I think he is also busy. Okay, Diana, what do you think about second, uh, the second? Sentence. It, it, it says dogs make better companion than cats. Companions is like a compañía. Yes. Okay. I prefer dogs because I have a dog and, and I don't like the cats. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry if, if somebody likes it, but I don't like it because uh, when I was a pregnant, um, around since 10 years ago, I realized the cats are bad for the health. And for that reason, I don't like it and never like it. And I prefer the dog because they are uh, all loyal, are I don't I don't remember how you say obedientes. Obedient or obey? Obedient. Mm -hmm. Yes, obedient. Obedience and they are a kind and I prefer dogs. I love the dogs. Okay, excellent. Uh, William likes cats, but he's not here, so don't worry. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me see. Diego, what do you think about uh, Diana's opinion? Do you prefer dogs or cats? Uh, I prefer dogs. Uh, and I think uh, dogs uh, make better companions. Uh, well, uh, I, don't, I don't have no one. But uh, I I heard uh, dogs uh, dogs uh, me, uh, are dogs are better uh, companions than than a cat. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Oh, someone. Okay, excellent, Duban. And can you talk or just listen? Okay, so I was asking you this because we are going to learn how to say that you agree with something, okay? So let me see, Emerson, help me with, please. Okay, and so and two. We use so and two to show agreement with positive sentence. For example, Peter likes pizza, so do I, and I do too. Uh, she is from El Salvador, so I'm I, and I am too. And I, I will clean my bedroom, so will I, and I will too. Okay, excellent. Uh, thank you, Emerson. So as Emerson was mentioned, we use so and to to show agreement, but for positive sentences. And if you see here, because you have a verb here, you are going to answer with do, okay? If you see here, the uh, verbs, you can uh, you have to answer just uh, with do, okay? You cannot say, so likes I, or like I, okay? And just the exception is can, because it's a modal verb, okay? So, it's the same case here for is. Here, if you use a verb to be, it has to match, okay? Verb to be, verb to be. And obviously, depending on the subject, you cannot say here is if I am using I, okay? And finally, you have another example here. Because I am using the auxiliary here, will, I am going to use the auxiliary will. If I have here uh, something like should, my answer has to be with the auxiliary, okay? Or I should to got it. Yeah. Okay. No, no, got it. Okay. Okay. If uh, for example, if you have a sentence here like uh, dogs are better than cats. If you agree with this, dogs are better, uh, or maybe another example, I will try with another example. I love, I love cats, okay? So this is like a conversation, person one and person two. So for example, I say, Fatima, I love cats. So Adonai can answer if it's a, if Adonai is a, agree with this, he is going to answer, so do I or I do too. Why? Because I have it here. I have here a verb 
and the auxiliary of a verb is do, okay? If the, the sentence has here is, you are going to use another verb to be, an auxiliary matches with another auxiliary, okay? Teacher. Yes. We change do for the uh, verb. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a verb here, you are going to use do. If you have the verb to be, you're going to use a ver another verb to be, depending on the subject. Will uh, or have or um, should with another should. Can with can. Uh, was with was or were, depending on the subject. Uh, for example, my brother likes pizza and I do. I do too, or so, I do too. so do I. So I do too? No? Mm -hmm. I do yes. too, or ah, okay. so do I. There, uh, there are two ways to answer in the, the same way. You can use I, two or so. The idea, if I make that uh, this uh, verb, can you repeat? Uh, the idea is uh, I do, I do, or so, so do I, if they change the verb. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. So they are, uh, those are two ways to answer the same question or the same sentence to show agreement. But for positive sentences, this is for a negative sentence. Help me read, Jeff, neither and either. Neither and either. We use neither and either to show agreement with negative sentence. Negative sentence, Peter doesn't like pizza. Neither do I, I don't either. She is from El Salvador, neither am I. I'm either i will clean my bedroom neither will i uh, i won't either okay thank you so you see here because you have a negative sentence you use neither or either if you are going to use neither you have to put it at the beginning if you are going to use either you put it at the end Okay, at the end, and your auxiliary or the verb to be has to be in negative, just for that. For this one, it's okay like that. But for this one, you have to use it in negative. I want either or will not. Want is the contraction. Will not. Okay. Got it? Mm, teacher? Yes, Ariel. You can use a uh, bot and like you want, and there is not a special case. No. And the last topic is the same. Mm -hmm. You can use neither or either, depending okay. on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Just be careful that in this ones, in negative sentences, you have to use just uh, two options, neither or either. And then for positive, just so and two. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, I'm is the contraction um, using just the verb. You can also say, Diana, I am not. This is another contraction. It's almost the same to say, I'll not. It's the contraction of want, but include on the subject. Got it? Okay, 
So maybe I will show you. Um, let me see, Luis, can you give me a sentence? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I doesn't like uh, tacos. Okay. In I doesn't or I don't. I don't. Okay, no, I don't like tacos. So like uh, tacos. let me see. Yeah. yeah, wait, 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 Ariel. How can I answer this, or how how can I show? Agreement. Um, I do say two. It, it's remember this is a negative sentence. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, me neither. Me neither. Yes, yeah, it's another way to say it. Me neither. Or I don't neither, either. Neither do I. Or I don't either. So you see? Yeah. This is this is new for me because I used to use uh, me neither yeah. always. Yes, yes, I use it uh, too. But you know, the, you yeah. you are just learning another way to say it. Mm -hmm. So you can use neither do I, me neither, which is like more inf uh, like informal, I would say, or colloquial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here is another one. Because if you have may, uh, maybe an interview, you won't say, yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah it's like uh, informal, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So let me see, uh, Jeff, can you give me a sentence? Um, I don't like cats. Okay. Oh, and a positive sentence. A positive. I like, I like dogs. <laughs> okay. I like dogs. <laughs> okay. I like dogs. Okay. So, uh, Diana, how can I show agreement? So do I. So do I. Oh my goodness, what happened? So do I. And also using two. I do too. I do too. Why did you change the verb to this auxiliary? Um I'm sorry, what? Why did you change the verb, this verb, or this auxiliary? Because I make reference for, for a first person, in this case, me. Mm -hmm. And also because verb has too much with verb. Verb to be has too much with verb to be. And for example, this auxiliary has too much with the same auxiliary. Okay. Very good job. So if you don't um, have any doubt, we are going to practice. Okay. Do you have any doubt? No? Okay. Okay, I'm okay. gonna... Thank you, Duban and Diana. I'm gonna show you some examples. Okay, Duban. Uh, what's your doubt? The negative? Okay, okay. Um, in this case, uh, you are going to use, if you have here, because you have here negative, you are going to use just these options, okay? But for this option, you are going to put 
either at the end, but you have to add don't, okay? And here, you start with neither, neither do I. Maybe the things that you have to do here is to remember the structure, okay? If you start with neither, the auxiliary is in the middle and at the end, the subject. If you are going to use either, you put uh, at the beginning the subject, then the auxiliary in the negative form, and at the end, either. Okay, yes, uh, Adonai. Teacher. Yes, tell me. When we say in the four negative, uh, ne neither do I, uh, we don't use don't. No, just with either. Uh, you, can, you can imagine that this is a negative, the end, okay? Ah, uh, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. This is the key. Yeah. Either you yeah. you suppose that you have the the no here, ah, the okay. negative. Okay. Yes. Thanks, teacher. Okay. So just for this one. Okay. So now we are going to check some samples. Duban, I don't know if I answer your question or your I clarify your doubts. Um, depending on the on the subject, for example, if the subject is she, you have to use doesn't. If the subject is you or I or they or we, you are going to use don't. Okay. So let's let's try something. Diego, here, here I have this example. Mary likes milk. Which are two ways to answer this or to show agreement? Mm, so do I. Or? I do too. Excellent, very good job. Ariel, what about this one? I, Mary doesn't like milk. Um, I forgot. We can we can uh, check again. Don't worry. We are learning now. Let me take a screenshot. Okay. And, just, uh... and also here's the the another one. Okay, you can and. Continue with yeah. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Then the answer could be uh, neither do I or uh, I don't either. Very good job. Neither do I or mm -hmm. I don't either. Mm -hmm. If you see, you switch here. In mm -hmm. this. First, the negative way to show agreement and this one at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Ju they just uh, switch. switch. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me see. Thank you, the one, Emerson. I have this one, Jack is home. Is at home, maybe. Okay. Jack is at home. And, and so do I. Or and, and I do too. Remember that if here is a verb to be, you have and, to use another verb to be. So am I and I am too. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So Adonai, what do you think about this one? 
Uh, Jack is in home. Is in a hop at home. At home. So, which are the ways to show agreement? Uh, I don't either. Uh huh. Uh, and with neither? Uh, neither do I. Okay, remember that this is a verb to be. So yes. you have to match with another verb to be. Because ah, okay. here you have a verb, you use don't. Yes. <laughs> don't, sorry, sorry, here you don't. Yes, teacher. And here sorry. you do. Don't worry. That's why we are uh, practicing. Okay, uh, let me see. Diana. I am going to erase this. Okay, Diana, I have Madonna sings very well. How can I show agreement? I don't remember the positive. We use so and, and to. I'm going to show you. So do I and I do too. I do too. That's why I, I am saying that you maybe you just, just have to remember the structure. And that's all. Once that you learn the structure, you do it like uh, immediately, like me, uh, me neither. So Maybe you have to remember the structure and that's all. Okay, thank you. So do I, and I do too. So you see, you have here a verb. So we are going to use the auxiliary, another verb. As an auxiliary, another verb. And let me see, Diego, I have this one. My husband isn't tired. Um. Neither am I, or I, or I am not either. Excellent. Neither am I, or I am not, or I'm either. Okay. Uh, let me see. Mm. Emerson. James enjoys reading. Uh, Enjoys is a verb. Yes. Um, we use neither. Oh, it's positive. Remember that th that's a, a positive structure. So do I, and I do too. Mm -hmm. So do I, and I do too. Okay, so Luis. Sorry, um, I am not hungry or I'm not hungry anymore. Okay, um, is neither, neither I am, no, neither do neither. I, neither, I, neither, neither, neither do I and I do either. Okay, but I have a problem. I have a verb to be here. How can I do? Ah, okay, and is neither I am and I aren't either. Excellent. Neither am I or I am not either. Remember, don't forget the, the negative, okay? And I know okay. that you know, you, you say it. You say it, don't worry, please. Just, uh, oh, I have an interest in here. Um, Adonai, I can't speak Italian. Neither I am I. Neither? Neither I am I. 
or I am not either. Okay, let's check. <laughs> As I mentioned before, if you have modal verbs like should, could. I forget to change the verb. Sorry. Don't worry. That's why I, I, I told you that was an interesting example. So if you have here can or can't, you are going to use, you have to match the, the auxiliary, okay? Yes, teacher. I forget to change the verb, the rain fall in my, in my head. <laughs> uh, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, the one. You, you can type in the chat, don't worry. This one, I would love to have a coffee now. So do I, or? I do too. Okay, let's check. Do you remember it? This is a modal verb. So that's why you are going to use the modal verb. Like could, can, would, should, may. Okay. So I think you are ready to have a, another practice. Just try to remember, okay, that if you have a verb to be use a verb to be if you have a verb use do if you have um a modal verb use the same modal verb okay so give me a second Okay, here. Just give me a second. Okay, Jeff, get ready. I think it's the. Say, say the whole sentence because I cannot. Uh, I can't okay. play the piano and my roommate can't either. Can't either, okay. Yes. Yes, because I, I cannot hear the difference between B and D. Okay, very good job. Why did you use two? Oh, well, I, I'm going to ask you after. Diego. Um. Sugar is sweet and honey is too. Let's check. Very good job. Why did you uh, choose this one? Uh, because it is used there to be. Excellent. Okay, next one. Let me see, Diana. Letter, uh, letter G. Can you say it? D. So I did. So I did. No, we say, so did I. Do you remember? So do I. But this is in past. Oh, and I forget this. Yeah. If you are using a verb in past, you have to use the auxiliary in past. Okay. Okay. You just have to remember the, this, this structure. So don't worry. Luis, this one. 
The center. No. <laughs> okay. So Luis, you you keep paying attention. Is B near is Lisa? Okay. Remember that we use neither or either for negative sentences. And that was a positive sentence. I am studying English. I I, I remember that the, the question, the, 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 the sentence. So you have to use so is Lisa because it's third person no the one it's b d uh, emerson <laughs> i've never seen a beautiful in a new and the letter b say say the sentence neither have my children this one, right? Very good job. Why? Because it's a negative uh, sentence. Mm -hmm. We use the neither. Uh huh. And why do you think it uh, has have here? Emerson, why do you think here I have the auxiliary have? I don't remember. <laughs> uh... It's because you have the, it's a present perfect continuous. It's a tense. And because you have here, I, I have never seen Oh, it, it's just perf uh, present perfect, sorry. I have never seen, it's a tense, like simple past, present perfect, uh, simple future. So the auxiliary for this one is have. That's why you use have here, okay? Okay. And in fact, this is, this is wrong. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's okay. Okay, Adonai. Ah, uh, see, sí. neighbor room, my husband. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to check what's about your husband. But no, my husband, I don't have husband. <laughs> It's so will my husband because it was a positive sentence. Okay. okay. Uh, Ariel. I oh, I couldn't see. <clears throat> I had to choose one car. <laughs> and the uh, upper right. Which one? Uh, right up. Here? Yeah. No, no. I don't know what it does mean. Do it quickly. Okay. Ariel, oh, it's your choice. So oh, sorry. Uh, neither the C. No, no, no. D, 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 D. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. I got it. You use doesn't because it you use either. Yeah, yeah. So for either you use uh, the negative. Okay. Uh, the one you have time. Don't worry. C. 
así. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, give me a second. I think that's the last one. Very good job. Just give me a second. So we're here. Can you see the screen? Mm, yes. 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 Okay. So easy. You are going to show agreement or disagreement. So you are going to talk in pair and you so to neither or either with the correct uh, structure to express your opinion, obviously. So those are um, like, the sentences, summer is the best season of your of the year. Because remember, we use so to neither and either, sorry, um, to show agreement or disagreement. So you are going to give your point of view, like in this example. I think fall is the best season of the year because, because of the amber colors. I do too. I love those beautiful colors because blah, 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 blah. So you are going to give your point of view. So uh, take a screenshot. Yes. Uh, oh, thank you, Diana. The screenshot is it's on WhatsApp or WhatsApp group. Yes, Adonai, tell me. Uh, teacher, what is amber? It's a color, a beautiful color of the fall. I'll show you. It's between yellow and gold, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Like yellow or orange, like the pumpkins. I'll show you. It's my favorite color, like this ones. They are different. Like tone, this one, this ones. Ah, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. So you are going to give your point of view about this one. But uh, I don't know if you remember, but I am taking you some uh, questions or I am taking a verbal test using some questions. So for the ones that hasn't, haven't taken the test yet, I am going to take you one by one in another breakup room, okay? So you are be working, you, are, uh, you will be working in pairs, but one of you, will be with me taking the test. Got it? Got yes. it. Yes. Like yesterday, teacher? Mm -hmm. Like yesterday. Okay. okay. Just let me see. Uh, Duvan, I don't know if you can talk. But I will... I will assign you in uh, Duvan, uh, don't worry, you will be taking, uh, taking the test in the, it, with an audio because you have problems. Mm -hmm. So let me check, Luis Velasco, will be with me, okay? Just give me a second.
Sorry, I was taking my, my notebook. Okay, so Luis Velasco, you will be with me in room number four, taking the test. Got it? So join, please. Okay. Are you ready? Can you hear me? Uh... Uh, no, I'm not ready. Uh, honestly speaking, I don't study because uh, I work in the platform every day. And I don't have a verb list. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. They are like general questions in which you have to use what you have learned in the in the unit so you don't have to answer ah. questions like when do we use uh is or which subject something like that you don't have to answer like that don't worry oh okay okay please give me a second Oh my goodness, it is so slow. Okay, here we have. Please let me know if you are able to see my screen, okay? Can you? Uh, no, I don't see. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you can? Okay, so yes, if yes. you see, they are just three questions. Easy, uh, so don't feel nervous. Try to, don't feel nervous. Uh, you can do it. Okay. You are very capable. Don't worry. Uh, if you are ready, we can start, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. So. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Enrique Velasco and uh, I am uh, 23 years old and uh, I study programma programmation in Código and I study English. Uh, I am a person uh, very intelli intelligent, and I uh, and I am a tall man, and I use gla glaze. Glaze. That's all. Okay. And how how does your mother or father look like? You choose one and describe her or him. 
Okay. Uh, my mother is a short woman and she is a, a little fat. And in his eyes, as um, brown, um, she is a, a, a beautiful person because she is very uh, uh, she she is very she is very mother with me and my brother and i love my mother <laughs> that's all okay and the final one Let's suppose you are in the most expensive restaurant, like, I don't know, something like Dubai, in a restaurant in okay. Dubai. What would you like to order or to eat? Okay, uh, for order, uh, I, I would like, uh, I would like eat uh, Mediterranean food. Is a role play or no, no, or just a... no, just tell and why tell which type of, of, of food and why? Uh, repeat, and I don't uh... just uh, tell uh, the type of food or the food, the dish that you want or you would like to eat or to order, and tell me why the reason. Ah, okay. Uh, I would like eat a uh, Mediterranean food because uh, it's a new experience with me, and I hope uh, are are delicious. Oh, is a delicious. Uh, That's all. That's all. Okay, thank you. So maybe you have to improve your fluency. Uh, there are some mistakes like uh, the color of her eyes are, you know, you take like the long way to, to explain something. So maybe you can uh, search for how to introduce yourself or how to describe a physical a physically some someone like in a more colloquial way like his his or her color eyes blah 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 okay another way to say fat but without sound like um a noise is to say to say chubby chubby is like Huh? Maybe okay. not uh, not fat, but it's like rellenita, but with a very good way. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Repeat. Chavi, chavi. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's right. Chavi. Chavi. Okay. Ah, so, chubby. Okay, uh, uh -huh. I, I remember. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thank you for being here. And um, we're going to return to the main session because time's up. Time's up. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks. Thank you. How did you feel, Luis? 
taking the test. Kind of nervous. Luis? Hi, the one. What happens? Why are you sad? Hi, hi. Sorry. I... Okay, thank you, Luis. Don't worry. So guys, uh, that's all for the class. Uh, I'm so sorry to not, uh, because I couldn't be here in the breakout room to hear you. So that's why I, maybe I will decide um, that you take the test with an audio, but I will, I will think about it maybe if, at the end of this weekend, sorry, of this week, we haven't finished with your uh, tests, like verbal test in a breakup room. We are going to finish uh, our tests in maybe with an audio, but I will tell you my decision later. Okay. okay. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you. All. Um, for your attention thank you for your participation your feelings and like your attitude i enjoy to be with you and i will see you tomorrow okay bye guys okay thank teacher. you teacher bye, bye. bye, bye, teacher. bye. Hope and you Duban, have a wonderful night thank you and the one i hope to 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 fix your your computer because I miss your voice, okay? So bye guys.